Hi, how are you doing? Hi. Um, so I have a mother and a sister who are both combat vets, and uh, I know our families have difficulties dealing and coping with PTSD. Um, I think I read a statistic the other day that somewhere between 40 to 50 percent of suicides in the country are combat vets. That's right. Um, I'm just curious what uh, Bernie plans to do to help our vets. Well, what he did, when he, when all this started to come out in terms of the problems in Phoenix and the long waiting lines, that happened to be the, at the time that he was promoted to chairman, elected as ch chairman of the Veterans Committee by his peers on the committee. And that year, he uh, came up with the most comprehensive veterans bill that has been proposed since the GI Bill uh, in Congress, what we, I after World War II. Um, what he, he brought it to the floor. He had two Republicans and all the Democrats in his committee vote for it. Uh, he only got 56 members of the 100 in uh, the Senate. And in the Senate, you always need 60 to go forward. Um, you have a super majority. So what he did was most people then walk away and say, well, I tried. Um, as I said, he doesn't believe in the word can't. And he, he went and he found other members John McCain, who's a Republican and concerned about veterans. Jeff Miller, who was his Republican counterpart over in the House side. And, he, and they just locked themselves in the room. They yelled. They slammed doors. It was, it was, there were articles written about it down in Washington saying, they're never going to get anything done. They're both hot-tempered. But what they did was they got a compromise piece of legislation that wasn't a compromise that said, we're going to each get nothing and we'll all go to the center. It was, we're going to get, you're going to get what I think is important, I'm going to get what I, or you're going to get what you think is important, I'm going to get what I think is important. As we think it's less important, that's what we'll let go. And they came up with the only piece of legislation that passed, the only significant piece of legislation that passed the Congress during that entire session. And it is the most comprehensive bill that has been written since the GI Bill. So he put in more money um, for doctors, for nurses, for staff, for uh, outreach, uh, for mobile uh, units to go out into the rural areas. Uh, he lessened the, the um, waiting times by putting a lot more money into computerization of records. They were, if you can believe it, just had a lot of paper, and so it was really hard. Um, and uh, I mean, in terms of the health care, he did education too and expanded it to families. Um, but he also did the alternative uh, pilot projects in a number of uh, veterans' hospitals all over the country. And he went around to the veterans' hospitals and asked them, as he was writing the legislation, is this the most important thing? He won the VFW's highest award and the American Legion's highest award because of his work there. And they said that he is, they have very rarely seen that kind of commitment to our veterans. So he will continue to do everything he can for them. They deserve our support and whatever they need. Yeah.